Matt Hun here with MDH Technologies. Thanks for joining me uh, on this video blog post about CryptoLocker. By now, many of you have probably already heard about CryptoLocker. Many of you may have been the victims of CryptoLocker, unfortunately. The good news is what I'm here to share with you today uh, is about a new website uh, tool that's been created to help the victims of CryptoLocker decrypt the information. Uh, so if uh, you've got some documents that were damaged and encrypted as a result of the CryptoLocker virus, you now have the ability to recover that information. So the website um, that was created by uh, both FireEye and Fox IT is decryptolocker.com. So the way this works is uh, appears to be pretty straightforward, and there are uh, detailed instructions on decryptolocker.com to walk you through the process. Uh, this does appear to be a free tool, and um, like I said, uh, the process is easy. Basically, you put in your email address. And then you choose just one uh, of the files that were damaged or encrypted uh, by these, the uh, CryptoLocker virus, and you upload it. Um, notice it's a max upload of 16 megabytes, and um, it's not necessary to choose a large file necessarily uh, as the sample file. Um, so, really. A file that's um, very small will upload quicker and would be more advantageous to choose a small file but if you've only got uh, large ones um, then uh, just keep in mind 16 megs max and so you go ahead and do the uh, capture to make sure that uh, you're not some kind of a bot or something and then uh, hit decrypt and then the um, website will actually send you an email uh, with a link to a program that you can download and um, it'll also have the master decryption key so then once you've got those two things you can run the program on your mach machine uh, using the master decryption key and it will recover all of those documents that were affected so I haven't actually tried this out. Um, I personally uh, wasn't uh, affected by the um, CryptoLocker virus, although um, I do know a couple of people who were, and um, do plan to contact those individuals to test the uh, the tool out here. Uh, so if any of you have used this or have feedback about it, go ahead and post a comment on the uh, video on YouTube. Also, I plan on um, creating a uh, blog post about this, so you ought to see some text uh, write up, which will probably be a little bit more comprehensive than the video here. But um, at any rate, um, the other thing I kind of wanted to touch on here is um, due to the nature of CryptoLocker, which was originally not detected by an, an awful lot of the antivirus software out there, um, so it was actually able to slip by and in infect a lot of machines even if you had antivirus. So in that regard it's important to pick uh, a good antivirus, um, mainly one that's going to give you a good level of protection uh, and two, uh, an antivirus product that's not going to slow your machine or inundate it to the point where it's not really usable. Um, so just because you pick one antivirus this year, that may not necessarily be the best antivirus available next year. Um, so simply renewing your antivirus without really looking to see what's out there um, may not be the best approach. Um, at MDH Technologies, for 2014 we chose Komodo antivirus. 
this is a, an enterprise uh, grade antivirus that we're using and um, if you want to find out about that uh, we think it's a pretty great product uh, come on over to our website and check it out just type in antivirus in the search and you'll find our uh, last blog post about it here there's great information about it that's about all for today uh, so once again, if you were affected by the CryptoLocker virus, go to decryptolocker.com, put in your email address, upload a sample file, and then decrypt it, and uh, you'll be sent uh, an email with a um, link to a program you can download and a master decryption key that you'll use with, in conjunction with that program to recover uh, your information. Thanks for joining me. This has been Matt Hunt with MDH Technologies.